Hey guys, it's Chris, and this is going to be another Game of Thrones video talking about one thing and one thing only. Where the hell is Gendry? Alright, so we last seen Gendry in the end of Season 3, I believe, where he was rolling away to King's Landing, escaping Melisandre's wrath. Davos had set him free because she was going to burn him, and of course she did the leech test because Stannis wanted proof of King's blood doing the trick for him to win the war and gain his Iron Throne. And of course she had a little fun with Gendry. Look, yes, mother. Anyway, put the leeches on him, and then Stannis, of course, put the leeches on the fire and called out three names: Balin Greyjoy, Joffrey Baratheon, and Rob Stark. Now, was that magic or was that just stupidity? After all, Rob did break his oath and marry somebody else. Joffrey was just a psychotic bastard who was begging to be killed. And of course, Balon, well, he was stupid to go out on a bridge at night during a damn storm anyway. Especially a bridge like that. Anyway, the point being that Gendry escaped and he is supposedly headed back to King's Landing. Of course, he told Davos he couldn't swim. He had never even rode a damn boat before. So is he still rowing? Now let me say really quickly, in the books, he is still with the Brotherhood Without Manners. And there's another character named Edric Storm who is also Robert's bastard. But for the sake of the show, I think they kind of combine those characters and Gendry is basically the last living Baratheon, except for likely some cousins somewhere or something like that in Storm's End. The point being that Gendry, is he important to the story or is he not? Of course, there's been a lot of theories about Gendry since his disappearance. There's Theories that he is actually the son of Cersei and Robert being legitimate, although in the book Cersei never had that child supposedly, but I guess you could say there's some evidence in the books that that is a possibility. There are of course a lot of theories about his role in the war to come. Will he be a big in-game player because he is a blacksmith? Perhaps he gets with Sam at the Citadel and learns some secret to Valyrian steel. And of course he could simply be dead. I mean his story arc at least in the show could have run its course and they could just leave him be and we'll never see him again. But I don't think so. I don't even think the showrunners would leave a hole that big in the plot line. So I think we will see Gendry again. There's theories out there of course that he'll meet back up with Arya and Braavos. Of course we know that's not going to happen at least in the show now because Arya is now back in Westeros. There's theories that Danny and her team when they get to Westeros will come across Gendry somewhere. But if I had to guess right now where he is and what he's going to end up doing I would say this. I think he probably makes it back to King's Landing or somewhere in that area and if you look right here on the map he could have easily made it there to King's Landing or somewhere in the Crown Lands because it's not that far from Dragonstone even being an unskilled sailor. Hell he could roll on up to the God's Isle for that matter and be right back in the Riverlands in no time. So I think he actually is going to end up back in the Riverlands. I think he may end up with the Brotherhood Without Banners again, kind of realigning himself with his book character, except they're under the leadership in the books of Lady Stoneheart, and he's not digging that so much because she's all about revenge and not about justice. And I also believe that he will likely meet up with Arya again. Now what I would like to see happen in the end of our story is all these major houses being kind of restored back to their good names. For example, I like Tyrion to restore House Lannister to a respectable name, just like the Baratheons. Although Joffrey was actually a Lannister, he was known as Joffrey Baratheon, the son of the king, and therefore he and his antics ran House Baratheon's name in the dirt. So I do think, like I've said in many videos before, that at the end of our story, no matter how the ending goes as far as a bittersweet ending, as far as John and Danny, if they survive, or if one gets sacrificed, or however it ends, after the War for the Dawn, I think we'll see a lot of change, and the way things are done in Westeros, I, I could see possibly all the seven kingdoms, or actually nine kingdoms, go back to independent states in some sort of democracy, and all the major houses kind of bound together and play a role. Now, if you remember from season one, Robert and Ned wanted to join their houses, and that's why he went to King's Landing in the first place to become Hand of the King, and he was going to marry, of course, Sansa to Joffrey before we found out Joffrey was such a bastard. But the point being that I think this could still happen. We could see Gendry come up and become a Baratheon, legitimized by whoever is ruling at the end of this thing, if anybody's ruling at all, and of course, Arya being a Stark, and she's going to go in a dark side for a little while and stay on this dark side for a while and I think that Gendry and possibly the Hound too as I've mentioned before could play a big role in helping Arya step off that dark path and come back to the light a little bit. So I think once Arya comes back from the dark side and starts worrying about being a Stark and worrying about her family again in the bigger picture in the wars to come, that she could be reunited with Gendry, perhaps in the Riverlands, with a Brotherhood Without Banners, possibly with the Hound as well, and perhaps Gendry is the one to kind of get her back on the right path and worry about more important things. And of course, possibly in the end, they become united, married perhaps, and we finally get that House Stark, House Baratheon marriage that we were supposed to get in Season 1, but this time it's actually good damn people. So anyway, I'll leave it short and sweet, guys. That's my idea in a nutshell. I think that we'll see Gendry again. I don't think he's going to disappear forever. That's a big-ass plot hole. And I think we will see him reunited with Arya in some way, shape, or form. Perhaps in the end, they do join houses after this whole thing's over, if they do survive. But anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Will we see Gendry again at all? Is he just dead? Is he a big endgame player? Will we see him united with Sam somehow, as far as being a blacksmith, and Sam perhaps find some 
secret out in the Citadel about Valyrian steel, but I do think that Gendry and Arya will be reunited, and perhaps he's the one to get Arya back on the right track. Thank you for all the support, especially to you guys on Patreon. All my Patreon supporters are listed in the description below as Smokescreen Producers. So thanks again, guys. Be sure to like and share. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.